This is our 21st year working with the American Cancer Society, and this year we feature their research on reducing the inevitable resistance to cancer drugs. I'm Shade Better and Wong. For another 44-year-old, finding an integrative approach was just so important. She returned to New Jersey for a treatment regimen that included interventions like, get this, music therapy. Sona is a good example of treating the whole person and not just giving her a drug or a medication. Alternative therapies, things which can relax the body. We know people who are stressed feel more pain. There has been a significant amount of research on music therapy in oncology specifically for the reduction of anxiety and pain modulation. And we started working together both through our Healing Through Drumming program as well as in my office using the Somatron chair, which is vibroacoustic therapy. Music therapy has been an established healthcare profession for over 50 years. I feel like I've just come out of a meditation and I know that my symptoms decrease. Since cancer impacts the entire family, they're included in the therapy programs. Sona's autistic son and other children with special needs from the program Celebrate the Children participate in the drum circle. It's empowering for the children. It's healing for me. My son is amazing. He's the biggest blessing in my life. And I know that I need to be the strong mother that he needs. I feel like we're just at the tip of the iceberg on how music can be utilized for health and wellness. Music is accessible to everyone, and music has been used really since the dawn of time for healing. One person's Metallica is another person's Mozart. More recently, we're looking at brain imaging studies and seeing that music is able to access all areas of the brain. Sona's cancer journey started when she was a freshman in college and had three lumpectomies. At that point in time, they did not mention cancer. They said that they were fibroadenomas. However, looking back at the operation report, there was DCIS, ductal carcinoma in situ. So I've been dealing with this since I was 19 years old. In 2005, I had my son. I was having a lot of issues with the breastfeeding, so we didn't catch the cancer until 2007, when there was 14 centimeters worth. So I had to have a double mastectomy done. Sona was dealing with breast cancer that had spread to a lymph node and also has other medical conditions. She had very aggressive surgery. She got very aggressive chemotherapy as well, and even had her ovaries out. In 2015, we found a local recurrence in the breast that had already been removed. It was less than 1% of a chance that that was going to happen. For this single mom, the cancer was simply an added complication in a long medical journey. I was born with EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. It's a, the body's inability to produce collagen effectively, which in effect contributed to some of the complications that I had. When living in Florida, I had issues with high blood pressure, I had issues with kidney stones, I had a partially collapsed lung. Our main focus was relaxation, reduction of anxiety, and again, to increase general coping skills. In 2014, we received the Community Impact Project Award, which in essence makes us the model program nationwide for music therapy across the country for Livestrong. I listened to music prior to, during, and after surgery. I decided that any imaging that I was going to go through, I was having my iPod and my headphones connected. My overall health and well-being is stronger, greater. My prognosis is even better. Such good energy. I love it. So much hope. We'll be right back.